hi everyone welcome to science lab today we're going to do an activity called milk cart you will need a shallow bowl or tray milk food coloring q-tips and some dish soap Come on, let's get started. Don't drink the milk. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, everybody. Welcome to Science Lab. We're going to do milk art today. So it's kind of fun. And But first, there's some vocabulary words we'll go over in English that are important for this. You probably know them because you're so smart. Okay, so here's... You all have this kind of stuff, so we'll refer to it. And here we have milk. Everybody has milk. And the other one, food coloring. We're only going to use three colors today. Uh, we're going to use red, yellow, and blue. Even though we have green, do we need to use green? No, because when we mix colors, they'll we'll make green. And then the other is Q-tips. Q-tips, we're going to use the ends of the Q-tips, and you can use as many as you want. And dish soap, good old dish soap is in the little beaker, but we don't want to use the dish soap the first part. The second part, uh, we'll use the dish soap. And then we have a tray or a bowl, and when we use the tray, you can use any section or you can do two sections if you finish early and want to try it, something different. It's okay. You can use any section. The big, biggest section is probably the best one to use, but the little ones are good after you finish and want to do more. Okay, so there's two more terms, drag and swirl. Drag is a, a motion that we'll use first. We'll put it in the color and kind of draw lines and, you know, arcs to draw art with the colors. We'll drag the color with a Q-tip. And then there's the swirl later. We can do the swirl, and that's kind of go faster in a circle, you know, kind of swirl. So there's drag and swirl. So those are the two motions with the Q-tip that you use. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is pour some milk into the tray or bowl. We want just enough to cover all the corners. That ought to do it. Next, we want to put food coloring on. Now I recommend two drops of each color and that depends on the space you have. But you can always put more later. Putting too much at first, you just can't take it out. So let's put three drops of red It's tempting to put a lot of color. I like color. But don't do it. One. Two. Three. Now we'll put blue. I have green. Do we need green? Why no, we don't need green. Oops. Okay. Now we want to take a Q-tip and we can drag it around to make a design. Notice the blue and the red mix and the yellow mix. Take your time and make some swirls. Make a design kind of cool. You can see why I call it milk art.
Don't mix it too much. Go slowly. I kind of like that. When you get something that you think you like, you can take a picture and print it out. Now we're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to mess up this design. We don't know what's going to happen. We're going to use soap. And the soap molecules are going to do something very strange to the water and the milk. I'm using the other end of my Q-tip. Oops, my fingers are turned color. And I'm going to put it in. I don't want too much soap. I can twist it on the side. Now I want to watch the reaction of the molecules when they touch the soap. Wow, just touch. Just touch lightly. Cool. Go to the edges. Go to the corners. The soap, milk, and water react normally, but we can't see it. So again, we add color so that we can see what happens. You can keep chasing the color around and make a really cool design. It's kind of fun. And again, you can take a picture at any time. What would happen if I added too much color? Well, you can see that it's not as artistic. You don't have as much control over the color's movement. And eventually, it may even turn brown. The colors just don't look as vibrant to me. But you can decide. Always start out with softer colors. You can see some soap dropped off here and it's continuing to move. Looks pretty cool. So if you like lots of color, you can do that. But don't start out with lots of color because you can't take it out. Milk art. So why does this happen? Well, soap molecules have water-loving ends and water-fearing ends. Some ends love and some are afraid. They're scientifically called hydrophilic, water-loving, and hydro Phobic, water-fearing. Water molecules are, they dissolve polar molecules in the water, but some cannot be dissolved. So it's, think of it like a magnet, north and south poles. What happens when you put two poles together? What happens when you put opposites ends together, north and south? That is happening with the milk and the soap and the water. The molecules are finding negatives and positives all around them and moving. Pretty cool. So go ahead and try this at home. The materials are easy to get. A little bit different.
If you get something you like, you can take a picture with your phone and print it out. We don't know what's going to happen. We're going to use soap. And the soap molecules are going to do something there. Oh, cool. Wow. Oh, you draw a face. Pretty cool. That's real art. Very good. You can do another one and another section if you don't want to ruin your face. <laughs> See so much blue, but it's okay. Drag the red into the blue. And then when you try again, not so much blue. Cool. Beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. Wait till we do the soap on that face. That's pretty good. It looks like a clown. Now, if you get something you like, take a photo, and you can remember your beautiful art. But, and then you can make a mess later. show you something next. This time we're going to use soap and I'll show you. You dip it in the soap. And the milk. I'm using the other too much of my Q-tip. Oh, maybe too much. My uh -oh. are turned to color. And I'm going to put it in. I don't want too much soap. Twist it on the side. Now I want to watch the reaction of the molecules when I touch the soap. Wow, just touch. At first it will mess up your design, but then later you'll see, oh, it makes it beautiful again. So go ahead and do the soap. You'll want to do a new one. Because you can try soap here. Yeah, it's okay. Because it'll still look cool. But then you'll want to do another one with a little color. But we can't see it. So go, go, go. We add color so that we can see what happens. You can keep chasing the color around and make a really cool design. It's kind of fun. And if you put it in the corner, it'll chase it around. You can figure out where you want to do it. And again, you can take a picture at any time. Are you feeling okay, William? Yes. You look very blue today. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Good one. Yeah. So what causes the soap to make it do that? Well, surface tension is a big part of it, yes. But do you also know that there are like a magnet north and south poles? And so, so soap molecules have many molecules, different north and south poles all the way around. And the soap interacts with those and chases them. It's not just an, on the end. It's they're all move, move around very quickly. 
So that's what you're doing. You're chasing like a magnet. Some are coming and some are going. So it's like using the poles of a magnet on the milk molecule. Because the milk has water and fat, and the water kind of dissolves the soap, but the milk can't. And so they, that's why the change, the difference of the milk, the ingredients, protein and water and fat. So the milk has three different molecules. There's Mr. Blue. <laughs> it looks cool though. Looks like a rainy day. Yeah, rainy day. Big storm. Yeah, we don't have red games, so I saw blue. <laughs> so you can use your Q-tip to swirl too with lots of soap. Don't worry about getting color in the soap. It's okay. There's only little soap. That's the big swirl. <laughs> 